Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to completely upgrade Minecraft version 1.15.2. And I've gone ahead and made sure this is all still pretty vanilla. It's more of a vanilla plus, really. This isn't going to completely change the way you play Minecraft, it's just simply making it better. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, first off, I've installed the Stay True resource pack. And let me tell you, this resource pack is just wonderful. What it does is, while staying true to vanilla, adds a bunch of variety to the blocks in the game. So rather than just having, say, one type of of dirt or one type of grass, you will actually have a variety of them that look slightly different, and this just helps make things look far less repetitive. And this resource pack will also give you things like connected textures, which I'm a huge fan of, by the way. And also, as you can see, leaves will actually have some enhancements as well. Really, overall, it's just a really nice resource pack, but keeps itself fairly close to vanilla. Next, I've added a vanilla style shader to the game, and obviously, in order to have a shader, you're going to need Optifine, but I'm just gonna assume you already have that installed. And the two shaders I would recommend would be either Silders enhanced default or vanilla plus. They both do a great job keeping the vanilla visuals intact, although I would say Silder's enhanced default is slightly closer to vanilla and runs a bit better, but vanilla plus also looks really good, so it's up to you in the end of the day which one you'd like to use, or you know, you don't even have to use a shader, but personally I am using it for this video. Alright, and now for the first mod we're going to be installing is the Cork mod, and honestly, this is pretty much the god of all vanilla plus mods. The amount of content it adds to the game is borderline unbelievable. I mean, honestly, you should check out its website it has and just see how much it adds to the game. It covers nearly every aspect of the game, and honestly, there's no way I couldn't include this mod on this list. Next, in order to add some new biomes to the game, I've included the Traverse mod, and this is a very vanilla friendly biome mod. All the new biomes blend pretty seamlessly into the Minecraft world, and that's kind of the reason I've included it this time around. The biomes truly just look like an extension to vanilla Minecraft, honestly. Next we have a mod which is mostly focused on upgrading the aquatic update. And while personally the aquatic update is one of my favorite updates Minecraft has released, it can always get better. And as I mentioned, this mod kind of aims to do that. It adds several new creatures to the game, multiple new plants and blocks, and also makes some improvements to some of the vanilla features. This mod overall just makes the aquatic update even more aquatic than it was before. Now, to give all the generated structures in the world a nice upgrade, I've included the Repurpose Structures mod. And this mod adds variants to pretty much every structure type in the game. And my personal favorite is the villages. I mean, when you're exploring a biome such as a swamp, you actually feel like that village was created using the resources around it. It's pretty awesome. Next up, in order to enhance the sound, I've included both Ambient Sounds 3 and the Sound Filters mod. Ambient Sounds 3 makes it so when you're exploring different biomes, you'll have ambient sound in your world. So, for example, when you're walking through the forest, you'll hear birds chirping and such. And sound filters, on the other hand, will make it so when you're inside of caves, there will now be reverb. And considering that ambient sounds actually add some cave sound effects, these two work quite well together. And while it is up to you, I would personally recommend turning ambient sounds volume down to like 20%, because otherwise it's just kind of loud. But again, that's just up to preference. Next, we'll be installing a mod which will make exploring the end just a bit more interesting. And this is the Energetic Expansion mod. And when you have this mod installed, the end will feel even more alien than it currently does. You'll encounter strange plants and probably even strange creatures, and you know, everything just fits quite well. Personally, I would say that this is currently the best mod that alters the end in some way. The next mod up is a mod that'll only really matter to you if you sometimes play in third person, and this is the Back Tools mod. With this mod installed, whenever you switch between tools, your most recent one will actually be put on your back. So for example, if you're holding a sword and then switch to a pickaxe, the sword will be displayed on your back. And it's a pretty small feature, but come on, it's pretty cool. Next, we'll be installing it two mods which, together, will help significantly improve slabs. Let's be honest, in vanilla Minecraft, building with slabs can sometimes be more painful than licking a cheese grater. And with these two mods, I'm here to fix that. The first of which is the double slabs mod, which will allow you to actually combine two slabs into one block, which should honestly be a feature in vanilla Minecraft, let's be honest. And the second of the two mods is the torch slabs mod, which allows you to put torches on slabs. Really, again, these are both features that should just be included in vanilla Minecraft, but regardless, they're not, so I'm including these mods on this list. Approaching the end, we have another mod that's kind of just a fix for something in vanilla Minecraft, and this is the snow under trees mod. And with this mod installed, there'll no longer be random bald patches beneath trees in a snowy biome. It'll for the most part be completely covered in snow. Finally, the last mod I've included on this list is the Blur mod. And this is a very simple mod, but I personally love the effect. When you have this mod installed, anytime you open a GUI or something, the background will be blurred on a varying level depending on what you set in the config. Although really, the default setting is probably good for you. And like I said, it's a pretty small effect, but it's quite nice to look at. Alright, now that I've got all these mods installed, I'm going to show you some gameplay of just what they look like running together. Although I wouldn't really consider it gameplay, because I'm kind of just walking around showing you the mods, but you know, it should serve its purpose. Uh-huh. 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 
Alright, that's the end of this video, and if there's any mods you think should have been included that, you know, make vanilla just a bit better, go ahead and comment it below, and I will definitely check it out. If I agree it should have been included on this list, I'll give it a heart or something, just so other people can see it. I'm sure there's some great mods I missed out on. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.